So as you all know, public speaking can be terrifying for a lot of people. It is estimated that approximately 75% of people experience some level of nervousness when they speak in front of audience. They may suffer from mild butterflies in their stomach to an intense stage fear. Sometimes they just leave the stage. Practicing your speech alone at home is completely different than performing on a live stage. Speakers always wish that they would have practiced their speech as many times as possible before their final delivery. But from where they would have bought such a good stage, right? Hmm. So what's the solution for that? Can we create it virtually? By the way, I have practiced my speech on a virtual stage with a room full of audience. And to be very honest, I also have a stage fright. But my biggest fear is not the audience. It's just staring eyes. So I've replaced the audience with the eyes. Looks creepy, right? So, imagine you're watching a mesmerizing documentary about the deep blue sea. You're filled with curiosity about the underwater life. A beautiful coral, a schooling of fish. You just want to dive and swim with them. But fear of drowning or being attacked by the sea creatures holds you back. But what if with technology, now you can explore the oceans without facing any of these issues. You can feed your curiosity without feeding yourself to the hungry sharks. With technology, now you can uh, explore the mysteries of oceans just by sitting at your home. You can dive deep into the Mariana Trench, which is the deepest point of the earth, and take a closer look to the rarest creatures present over here. I know some of you don't like the oceans, so let's come above the water level and how about we creating the most iconic pose and Titanic picture, or whomever you prefer. Jokes apart. How about reliving or recreating your old memories in new and exciting way? Just imagine stepping back into your childhood zone and reliving the special moment, memories. The pure emotion of that time. With technology, now you have the ability not just to recall, but actually be present in those memories. The passage of time becomes irrelevant and you can relive those special moments again. God has given us a powerful tool to see this beautiful world. But technology has given us a chance to extend its limit. A very good evening to you all. I am Yash, founder and CEO of Jamper Studio, specially known for creating the most creative immersive experiences for the industry. Allow me to start by sharing about my hobby. Apart from my professional pursuit, I have a deep-rooted passion for aquascapes and the breathtaking underwater ecosystem. So what are aquascapes? So aquascapes are the unique aquarium designs that are artfully blended with the beauty of nature and the creativity of the artist. In simple words, aquascaping is underwater gardening. So I always wished and wanted to be the part of this beautiful ecosystem. It's not only me, but so many people have the same thoughts. So my team at Jaguar Studio had developed a VR experience where you can dive and be part of this nature aquarium. And I'm proud of my team that they have created such an amazing results. So, whether you're a nature enthusiast or an aquascaper or just need an escape, this application will make you feel relaxed and rejuvenated. So, I'm not a big fan or believer of long definitions, but let me give you a short and sweet, uh, short and sweet example and definition about immersive technology. So, immersive technology utilizes a specialized hardware that creates a believable illusion of presence of digital element around you to enhance your uh, real world experiences. So immersive technology has three big players, augmented reality, virtual reality and mixed reality. So let's see them one by one. First, uh, augmented reality. So augmented reality adds a digital element to the real world which gives an experience that this digital element appears in the real world. For an example, I love cycling. So, suppose you and me are cycling with your augmented reality glasses. With these glasses, you can see a digital human riding with you. Maybe he's racing with you or just being a companion. Second, virtual reality. So, virtual reality uh, adds a digital element or a digital environment to your real world. 
which gives you a fully immersive experience. But when I'm talking about fully immersive experience, I'm talking in the context of in the context of visuals. So let's continue our cycling example with your uh, virtual reality headset. So this time you are transported to the whole new world, maybe in the mountains, in the valleys, in the glaciers, or space, whatever. The third, mixed reality. So mixed reality offers a unique experience of blending the real world with the virtual world so that they can interact with each other. Again, let's continue our cycling example. So in this example, uh, you are still in the digital world, but right now you can see your arms that exist in the digital world. And the beauty of the mixed reality is it can transition between the augmented reality and virtual reality smoothly. Now you might be thinking, Yash, I have seen this headset used for gaming, but there are so many industries like medical and education, marketing and mental wellness and real estate. So many industries are using its potential and there are so many use cases as well. So let's see some of the cool examples. First, gaming. The port of the project gaming, uh, like the climb. The name of the game is climb, where you can have a realistic rock climbing experience with a stunning environment. It feels real, so don't look down. Second, uh, I'm proud to announce our upcoming game, X Wars, where you can wear the exoskeleton suits, attach the weapons to your hand and aim to target and shoot. It will give you an amazing experience. Believe me, this is a multiplayer game, uh, especially for VR and mobile as well. Then, immersive experiences. Have you ever thought how animals perceive this world? With our application, you can see how animals see this world. It is an amazing application. Now, one of the uh, best experience I have seen for the space exploration was done by Professor Robert Stone. It is designed so well that you can see that you are actually on Mars. They have also added some of the missions so to make an engaging experience for the user. Then, our quiz. This is one of our projects which is in the prototype stage where you just have to draw the lines on the floor and your room of the structure will be created. So now you can add the furniture, add the walls, customize it. So just open your arms, shrink it down, you can see the floor map of this uh, your room. And it is also a multiplayer application, so you can call your friends or designer and talk with them, whether it's sitting on US or Germany, wherever. You can just have to wear a uh, virtual reality headset and just design it. Then, healthcare. So one of our application is helping the students to understand the complex uh, surgery of craniotomy. And we are proud that we have created such a beautiful skin clinic simulation. And this is the game changer for medical students, right? Okay. You can create any hazardous situation. With this technique, you can help your users to get trained efficiently. And I remember one of the projects made by Professor Robert Stone, about mixed reality for the medical response team. So they have used the green, uh, green, uh, sorry, blue screen chroma key to merge the virtual and the real, real image. So with this technique, they can actually, the users can actually see and touch the real objects by experiencing the virtual reality also, as well. So with this technique, you can, you know, and you can uh, save the cost instead of using the big monstrous expensive haptic gloves. Now, yeah. this is that application. If you can see, you can actually touch the patient and a virtual environment will be created for you. Yeah. So we got to know the definition of immersive technology got to know in which industry they are used and also saw, saw a few of the cool examples. So now let's come to our main topic that is how to create more impactful and creative immersive experiences and believe me you will create something unique with the more human centric designs. So if you have listened to me carefully then you might have observed I have used this word a lot of time. Suppose you are an absolute beginner in immersive technology and want to create something then this word I wish will help you to form a base of your idea 
and provokes a hunger to visualize something that is not achievable or difficult to achieve in reality but can be experienced digitally. For example, I always wished and wanted to visualize how animals see this world. Mind like project. So we at Jamra Studio had developed this application and people love the uniqueness of this project. So now let's talk about you. What you can wish for? Maybe you want to fly, want to do farming on Mars, or do a space, space exploration. Your idea may sound silly at the first, but with few iterations it will get polished. Then human centered design. When it comes to immersive technologies, technologies such as AR, VR, MR, human centered design HCD is absolutely important. The HCD is a design approach that places the need and the perspective of the users at the center of design process. The immersive nature of this application can create a highly engaging content and experiences, but it has a potential to create adverse effects such as uh, discomfort, disorientation, dizziness, motion sickness, and sometimes psychological effect. If not kept the users in mind, HCD in itself is a huge topic, but let's mention few of the points. So, first, user design. So, user design involves the understanding the need and the goals of the users and generating a plan so that the users can easily grasp the immersive technology. By conducting user research, the designer can identify potential issues and can make the adjustment in the plan to, to ensure a positive immersive experience to the user and believe me there is no shortcut to this process. Then another important aspect is accessibility. So you should uh, design your immersive uh, experience in such a way that it is accessible to each and every person regardless of their physical and cognitive abilities. Furthermore, it is important to understand the importance and the impact of immersive technology on the real world. Some of the immersive technology can create a sense of disconnection with the reality. So the users have to keep in mind that their users, so, so the designer have to keep in mind that their users are aware of the surrounding and can safely return to the real world whenever they need to. Then clearly define the objective and the purpose of your application. This is the biggest mistake a lot of beginners and some of the experts also do. Define whether you want to train, whether you want to educate, whether you want to entertain or sell a product. You have to define your objective. This objective can also derive the creativity of your application. Then, paying attention to the detail is crucial, from sound effects to the lighting of environment, the mood board, the, uh, the aesthetics of your game, everything contributes in crafting the real and believable experiences. And lastly, this is the fun part of project. And so, just go on Oculus Store, Steam VR, or Play Store wherever you can and try as many as application as you can. This will help me to understand the UX, the game mechanics, game physics, art style, mood board, everything. You, you have to write it down. Why they have used this interaction rather than that? It will help you a lot. This is the Guru Mantra. Then, concluding, isn't it amazing that uh, we are in the age of imagination, experiences and visualization? and we seek more engaging and interactive ways to consume information. As the technology grows, the need for dynamic and imaginative immersive experiences will also grow. Recognizing this trend, it is important to understand the need and the importance of immersive technology and seize this opportunity. So I hope you are filled with curiosity about this technology. If not, at least pretend. However, I will give you some space to think. At the beginning of my speech, I talked about the stage fright. So can you think of an application which can help to overcome the other types of phobia? And I also talked about reliving your old memories. So can you think of an application where you can cure or at least help the memory loss person? Do you remember this digital cyclist? So just imagine this shows your potential and reflects how much you can push so that you can compete with yourself on a daily basis for your workout. 
just think. So it was an absolute pleasure to interact with you and thank you so much.